I started private practice and created a counseling practice centered around life and loss. So life and loss, mental health counseling. And my focus is to work with individuals who have experienced a loss in their life. And that loss can be around the death of someone they loved. It can be the breakup of a relationship. It could be the loss associated with a chronic illness. Um, really any loss that someone has experienced in their life. I do believe that we all need support and I do want to act as a guide and help people navigate through adapting to the loss that's happened in their life and how we cope with the things that come up um, for us on a day-to-day -day basis and the things that we're encountering in our life. So counseling practice is really built along that foundation. But I'm also a firm believer in education and education around grief and loss and how we deal with it um, as individuals, in the workplace, in society as a whole. And so I do have um, a very big interest and um, do work in educating others, whether they be other counseling um, practitioners, whether it's students who are entering the fields, whether it's um, individuals who are just interested in learning more about grief and loss. But I do firmly believe that um, we can all learn from each other and share um, in our loss experiences. Um, and I'm also a firm believer in advocacy, and advocacy for individuals who are approaching end of life. So, um, you know, whether they're federal, you know, rules and regulations and laws around end of life and hospice, whether they're state laws around um, medical care and access um, to medical care, um, whatever it is that um, really would allow people to have more choice and more say in how they live out their final days. Um, I am very interested in advocating for change um, around how we as a society um, approach that.